We're live. <laughs> We're live. Yeah. Hello, hello. Happy Magic Monday at 2.43 instead of 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> On your Magic Monday, co-host Megan and Michelle is not here today, but no. my amazing, handsome, honky husband is here. Scott, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Let me make sure that we actually are live. Okay, that's good. Oh, we are. That was us. Um, and so he's a special guest today. I had Tori come in here and, and announce that we were doing a different kind of Magic Monday, that we'd have a special guest. And it's Scott. Scott's the special guest. So I might be biased. Maybe some people don't think it's all that special to see you here, but I do. I do. And we're coming in here hot with a fun message about ayahuasca. Go figure, because we still have two spots in our upcoming Ayahuasca Awakening. Uh, we're more than halfway filled, and we're still uh, open to receiving two more amazing guests and participants to accompany us on our on our trip to Colombia. And we also want to make it known that it is co-ed. So mm -hmm. if if you are a man, you are a gentleman, you're welcome because Scott's going to be there facilitating. We'll be co-facilitating. But I wanted to ask a couple of questions just from your perspective, because I think everyone here is really familiar with me and mom and our perspective. Um, but people tend to love Scott's perspective on medicine and preparation and integration. Uh, my chatty controller self is always like oh don't with that boring part and yet somehow it's the part that he really enjoys and other people are so attracted to it so we also had to get um, a big strong man's opinion on ayahuasca but since you've been sitting with ayahuasca what has changed in your life like for for the better oh, I guess we could say the worst too but let's start with the better what's been a great change since sitting with ayahuasca well and that's perspective too right good or bad that's true right yeah. uh -huh. so, but for me I mean the awareness around um it, it's it, it's helped facilitate shift right into more self-awareness um it it's enabled me to push into areas of growth that absolutely would have taken years and years and years, if not decades, to dig into, uncover. And I mean, men were thinking beings, right? And to think your way through the process of awakening is a slow process. It, invo it involves a lot of feeling. You have to become in touch with your emotional being um your physical being your spiritual being it has to be all inclusive and and ayahuasca has just skyrocketed that for me yeah you know it, it it's a you'll hear lots and lots of people say it and it's absolutely true and that's why they all say it is that it's like 20 years of therapy you know in a couple of days mm -hmm. sitting with medicine i like this perspective that like thinking your way through it because although i would say that lots of men are more thinkers and like the the logic to it but I also know lots of women who have been really trained in their yeah, masculine absolutely. and so we're trying to like think our way through this awakening or ascension journey or remembrance journey mm -hmm. and thinking is like the slower route to it and what ayahuasca has done is like opened you up to the emotion and the feeling which really catapults our our soul's evolution. Yeah, I mean, thinking is just part of what our human being does, right? The mind is not who we are. Mm -hmm. And so to create change from the mind is a, is a painfully slow process. And I do mean painfully with intention. Yeah. It is a painful process to yeah. think your way through to change. Yeah, and yeah. And so I'd say that this particular trip to Columbia and ayahuasca awakening the retreat that we're holding is really for the person who is ready to go beyond the thinking process and into the knowing process yeah. which is actually not a mind or logical experience it's a being experience it's like the well it's the feeling like you said thinking your way through it's so much slower but the feeling is going straight to it 
Yeah, it, it's part of your wholeness, right? It's it's a journey back to your your com, your complete self. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, what was your so what is your let's go back to the beginning before you started sitting with ayahuasca and you're going for your first time. What what are you most concerned about? What was like the biggest area of like stressor or worry or concern? Oh. <clears throat> just the unknown. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, the unknown and, and I mean, everything about the unknown travel, right? I wasn't used to travel internationally. I was traveling by myself internationally. <clears throat> um, the unknown of what I would experience, the unknown of, of what would I come back like, you know, what yeah. would change? Uh, it, it, it is the true, complete, and total unknown. And um, that's all, also the beautiful part. Mm. You know, when we think about challenge, when we think about growth, usually there's this fear, this barrier right in front of us. And the beautiful thing we typically want is right beyond that fear. All we have to do is take that one step. Yeah. Right. It's the, the, the Joseph Campbell story, right? The fear or the, the treasure you seek lies in the cave you fear to enter. So it, it, yeah. it really was the unknown. And, um, and that's actually what prompted me to do it. Mm -hmm. to, to take that step was I felt that resistance and realized I needed to lean into it. Yeah. You know, yeah. that, that, and that has become more of a cornerstone of, of my awakening, of my awareness, you know, all those things that have changed and have become bigger and better in my life. If I feel that resistance, that's a clue. Mm -hmm. That's a clue. That's a place I get to grow. That's a place I get to step into. Yeah. And I, I really think that's a perspective of fear that you have on the other side that is like a light at the end of the tunnel for some people that resistance is an invitation yeah. fear is just a normal part of all of it mm -hmm. and if you wait until you're not afraid you'll wait forever because you know the fear doesn't go away even even today as I think about being seven weeks out seven is it seven six or seven Something weeks like out that, yeah. from going to Columbia together yeah. and, and sitting with ayahuasca I get butterflies I'm like oh mm -hmm. oh my gosh am I really gonna do this yeah. And I'm always happier, more enlightened, more grounded afterwards. And still I go, ah, I'm scared. Absolutely. So. Yeah. It, and that's, I mean, think of it from that perspective of emotions, right? Emotional growth. If you want to be more in touch with more joy, you have to be more in touch with your fear. If you want to be more in touch with, you know, anything good, you have to look at, you know, the not good. I don't, I prefer not bad. You know, yeah, I, I don't it's use opposite, that. Though. I don't. Yeah. It, 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 you know, you, you can't just have one side without the other. You have to look at all aspects, right? Dig into the shadow to see the light. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're feeling the calling, if this inspires you at all to think about going into the Colombian jungle with us as your facilitators, in our ayahuasca awakening, then please feel free to book a call. Tori will put the link in the comments below to book a call with me or with Michelle. Ayahuasca awakening is approximately three months long. You have two live preparation calls with us and Michelle, where we're, um, we're preparing your body, mind, and soul to receive the medicine. This is something that most programs do not support you with, at least not live. Uh, and then we go with you, obviously, into Columbia. We pick you up from the airport. We go to the hotel for a day of in-person preparation. And then we go into the heart of the jungle where we do four journeys with ayahuasca. And then we're back to the hotel for a day of integration in person and then back home. And then we support you with three integration calls after um, the actual sitting with ayahuasca because your biggest practice is going to be integration. Although I know most people look forward to the journey, that mind expansion, that 
that multi-dimensional wave riding, it really hones in and helps you ground all of those messages when we integrate for those live calls afterwards. So if that interests you, you will be joining me and Scott in the heart of Columbia in July. In the jungles of Bogota. <laughs> yeah, in the jungles. So um, go ahead and book, book your call below and we can go over all the details with you. All right. Bye for now. Bye.